What's up, Slappers? Time for another great video. Today, we are talking about importing and editing existing designs. Have you ever downloaded something off Thingiverse and it just doesn't fit right, or maybe it just wasn't what you needed for your project because it was a little small, a little big, something like that? So I'm gonna show you guys how to import a file from Thingiverse and then we're going to change that file for our needs. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Thingiverse and I'm just gonna find a random object. I'm gonna keep it small because the, lo the larger the object is and the more, um, the more megabytes it has, the longer it takes to import into Tinkercad. Let's just do this LED strip light clip. So I'm gonna click this object and say um, we had an LED strip but it was a little bit bigger than the LED strip they had in here. So we're gonna download this object. So I'm gonna to go to Thing Files, LED Strip Clip. I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna go back to Tinkercad. So first thing we need to do to get it on our work plane is import the file. So I'm gonna click Import. I'm gonna drag my file off the bottom of my screen here. It says, what do you wanna import in? Millimeters, inches, really whatever you work with. Um, but if you are working with 3D printable objects and you're bringing it into a slicer, usually you wanna go millimeters because that's what our 3D printers um, read all of our files in. So I'm gonna import this LED strip. Let's get rid of this bottom. So now we have our LED strip in here. I'm gonna change the color to make this a little easier to see, okay? So let's say our LED strip is a little bit wider on the inside and I wanna make this area a little bit bigger. Now we have the object in here and we could use all these tools over here to change it. So I could actually take this object, say I want it longer. I could just make it longer in Tinkercad. I could change this object all I want. Now I wanna edit it though. I wanna make this hole bigger. Now I'm gonna look for an object that kinda looks like this hole down here. As far as I could see, the round roof is probably gonna be my best bet. So I'm gonna drag the round roof out. I'm gonna rotate the round roof, so it's kind of aligned with my slot in there. And I'm gonna kind of start changing some dimensions here. I'm gonna bring it down, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, and I'm gonna align it inside of the object. I'm gonna bring it up, so I'm gonna use this cone to raise it up on our work plane. I'm gonna zoom in so I could get a better look at what we're doing here. Okay. Now this is what we talked about in the SnapGrid work plane video. Um, we could turn our SnapGrid off and it allows us to move this object really wherever we want. So I'm gonna bring it down slightly, doo, 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 and then I'm gonna start fitting it to the object. So I'm gonna drag this up height wise. I'm gonna drag this out width wise, doo, 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 making it a little bit taller making it a little bit wider. I'm gonna look down, make sure we're inside the object. Now the thing is, I know I'm not far enough, so I'm gonna drag this out so it's long enough. Then I'm gonna change this to a hole. I could see how much it's cutting off. Say my LED strip is, you know, whatever it is, a little bit bigger. Um, I'm gonna drag my ruler out here and do some dimensions real quick just to take a look at what we have. So say my LED strip is half an inch. So I'm gonna make this 0.5 width-wise. And then to make sure this is centered on here, I'm gonna highlight both these objects and I'm going to align them. So I'm gonna highlight them both, hit my align function, and now I could take a look here and it can align center this way. It can align center this way. So I'm gonna align center and then I'm gonna align it center. And now my object is perfectly centered. I have my, what, what? Ah, I have my half inch. I thought it made it bigger. That's crazy. It said 0.56, what? Anyways, I have my half inch LED strip going through here. I have a little bigger cutout on the outside to make it easier to fit in. I can now group these two objects by highlighting both of them, hitting my group function or control G. And now I have a larger slot to put my LED strip in. 
I could also bring a cylinder down here. I could make this a little smoother, a little more rounded at the bottom if I wanted to, but I wanna keep this video short and sweet so you guys have an idea of how to import, how to edit, and how to bring this object out. Now I could download this as an STL. I could export it, STL. I could upload it to Thingiverse as a remix if I wanted to share it with everybody else. Um, but hopefully you guys learned something in this video and I will see you in the next one.